As you already know by now, as mentioned in plenty of videos before this, we are living in a world where everything and anything is trying to grab your attention. There's so much content, notifications, and alerts that are dying for your attention. This information overload, however, can have a significant impact on our cognitive load, affecting our ability to focus, make decisions, and retain information. In this video, we'll explore the concept of cognitive load and provide practical strategies for unloading this overload. But before we do, hit that subscribe button so we can continue to feed you nuggets of knowledge on brain and behavior. So what exactly is cognitive load? Cognitive load refers to the amount of working memory resources that your brain uses. Think of our brain like a computer and your working memory like RAM. The more windows, tabs, and applications that are open, the slower we'll be in processing new information. In this case, the windows, tabs, and applications are all of the types of information that you come across. Before, our cognitive load was limited to just the daily stimulus around us in the outside world. The conversations we have, things we see and hear, and everything in between. And that already was enough to exhaust us after a long day. But today, we have an additional factor, our smartphones and feeds. Now, this is an overload in our cognitive load as we are exposed to an unprecedented amount of information on a daily basis. You need to remember that although the world around us has changed at a rapid pace with new technologies everywhere, our brains are still primitive and biological in nature. It has not evolved or changed much since the advent of technology, and it definitely does not evolve at an exponential rate that technology does. As such, it is no surprise that as much as we feel that we have adapted on a conscious level, unconsciously our brains are experiencing cognitive overload and downright exhausted. And this can hinder us from performing at our maximum level. Information overload can also have negative effects on our cognitive abilities. There is so much information vying for our attention that it becomes difficult to stay focused on one thing. Our mind is trying to be present everywhere and it ends up wandering lost in nowhere. You can learn more about mind wandering, something we talked about in the previous video, by hitting that right corner. As a result of mind wandering, it can be difficult to concentrate and perform tasks efficiently. Secondly, our decision-making quality decreases. When we are overwhelmed with information, decision-making becomes more challenging. Also known as decision overload, this is when we are exposed to too many options or decisions and our brain shuts down. Our brains struggle to process and evaluate all the available choices leading to analysis paralysis, and we end up making impulsive choices without careful consideration. Then there is the problem of impaired learning and memory. Excessive information can overload our working memory, making it difficult to retain and recall information effectively. Constant influx of new information can interfere with our ability to consolidate knowledge and form long-term memories. And finally, we also have a higher chance of being mentally fatigued. Keeping up with the constant flow of information can be mentally exhausting. This can lead to increased stress levels, fatigue, and eventually burnout. So unfortunately, information overload is a very common reality in the digital age. Some statistics say that about 80% of global workers experience information overload. This is definitely a problem and something we can't ignore. As such, we recommend some useful strategies on how to navigate through all the noise. For one, you can try to embrace digital minimalism. Reduce your digital consumption intentionally by embracing the philosophy of digital minimalism. Limit your time spent on social media and digital entertainment, focusing on quality over quantity. Eliminate any tools, apps, and platforms that don't add significant value to your life. Also, you can consciously curate the information around you. Be selective about the sources of information you rely on. Choose reputable and trustworthy sources that provide accurate and reliable information. But beyond that, don't just let anything into your feed. Filter through what is important to you in your growth and pick out what you can eventually impact your life. At the end of the day, every funnel of information around us whether it be our friends or the feed in front of us, is curated. And much like the algorithms that show us what we want to see, we can do the same with the people in our lives. Next is to set periods for consumption. What this means is to establish boundaries for consuming information. Designate specific times for checking email, social media, and news updates. Avoid mindlessly scrolling through endless feeds. By setting boundaries, you can prevent information overload and regain control over your attention and ensure you aren't aimlessly absorbing nonsense. And then learn to prioritize and organize. 
Develop effective prioritization and organization strategies to manage the information you encounter. We touch on this in other videos, but make sure to use project management tools, prioritization methods like the ICE method or MSCW, and just keep track of your information. And finally, do a digital detox. Give your brain a break from your tech sometimes, whether it's taking intentional short breaks throughout the day or more long-term periods in the week or month. There are plenty of reasons why we all need a digital detox these days. I explained it in another video. By implementing the strategies mentioned above, you can navigate the digital landscape more effectively and take a shot at reducing information and cognitive load. The more you understand the impact of excessive information on your brain and behaviors, the better you can get at managing your time, energy, mental resources, to ultimately minimize the harmful effects on your productivity and performance. Instead of just living a passive life, Having things happen to us, we need to be more conscious of learning how to maneuver through the current reality effectively and efficiently. Remember, while information is important to get ahead these days, it's not about consuming more. If you've liked this video, I'm sure you'll like the video on the left about digital detoxing. Also, boost your brain and behavior by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel so we can continue to help you mine the gold in mine.